Welcome back to CI Living on WCIA3. Bill Tapella with the Tapella and Eberspacher Law Firm. Did I get that right? You got it perfect. Okay, good. It, 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 it kind of gets out there. It, <laughs> it, but it's memorable, which has got to be good for you and your partner. We do not lack for syllables, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well put. So, okay, so you're an attorney here in town. Where's your, where do you primarily practice? Our, off, our main office is in Charleston, Illinois, but we also have an office in St. Louis, and our practice is really south of I-80 to the southern tip of Illinois and in eastern Missouri. But because you've, you're have you part of the Illinois Bar, you obviously practice all over the place. Principally, yeah, in yeah. downstate Illinois. So, and, and do you have a particular kind of specialization? Sure. We're pr principally a trial firm. If it happens in a courtroom, uh, there's somebody in our office that does it. With the exception, we, we don't focus our practice in the area of criminal law, but we certainly do uh, medical malpractice, uh, plaintiff's personal injury work, and uh, and a lot of business litigation as well. And so, if you for folks that are just kind of tuning in and getting a sense of, of what you're about, what do you what what do you tell people when they when they come to you? Whether they do they need an attorney? Do they not need an attorney? How, how do you handle those kinds of questions? Sure. Every case is, is unique, whether it's representing a foster parent, as, as we'll be talking about in a little bit, or whether it's representing somebody who's been injured as a result of, of negligence. You've got to evaluate that case. And we try and, and keep the client first. Um, mm -hmm. I tell all our associates at our law firm, everybody that walks through our door is likely dealing with the worst thing that's ever happened to them. And we try and keep that in mind. Well, that's a really good point, too, because when you when you feel like you actually need to take the time and go see an attorney because you've been wronged, you want to get good representation and someone that's willing to listen, as you're kind of talking about here, and help and be understanding of the situation that they're going through. Listening is so important to what we do. If we can't listen to that client and empathize with that client's circumstance, we just can't do the job for them. Now, let's talk a little bit about a couple specific instances. A lot of, a lot of people getting ready to send their kids back to school and bullying has become a really hot topic these ed, the school uh, ed, administrators are doing a lot to kind of identify and prevent these things but at one point does it become a legal issue if a parent senses that their child is either in danger or or what kind of situation yeah I think in this day and age with Facebook and Twitter and all of the electronic media that children are using uh, parents have to be very vigilant about these things and don't hesitate to step in and address these issues with school administrators. Uh, you've got to make the administrators and teachers aware of the problems that your child's dealing with. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can see some of the uh, contexts of the bullying law here in Illinois. So, and certainly reasonable fear, I think, is, is probably what's going to catch the parents' attention the most. Sure. And, and what you've just referred to on the screen are, are segments of the statute that actually defines what bullying is. And it's no longer the, the big kid pushing your child around. It's a matter of have you done something, has somebody done something to put your child in fear of harm that's causing them to suffer academically or suffer in their ability to engage in school activities? And those are all things that we as parents need to be on the lookout for. Well, and I think in the old days, too, you think of bullying as something that's very physical, sure. but intimidation like this can come in a lot of different forms. Particularly, as I mentioned earlier, in this day and age with the cyberbullying, as it's referred to, yeah. uh, that can become a significant risk. And we're seeing it around the country. We've all seen the stories of the suicides that have happened as a result of those types of issues. And it's, it's tragic when it happens. As parents, we've got to be proactive, and we've got to work with school administrators and teachers to make sure it, it doesn't happen. And improve that communication with the kids, too, so you know when to step in and get that advice. I think that's right. Yeah. All right. Well, another big thing that a lot of people are talking about is becoming adoptive parents. So we're talking about fostering and that sort of thing. Have you had a lot of cases that have been brought to you in this regard? I, I have a passion for foster parents. Okay. Uh, I uh, am one of very few attorneys that actually act, uh, represent foster parents in the courtroom. Uh, frequently they're involved in juvenile abuse and neglect cases where a child has been harmed by a, a parent or guardian and the court places these uh, children with foster parents and we've been very active in representing them in efforts to uh, both protect the child but in many cases adopt that child into a home that's going to take care of their needs. Do foster parents have a certain set of rights? Absolutely do and, and they're found in two places. One, we have in Illinois a foster parents bill of rights and it's important every foster parent should be aware of that. It gives them certain rights with the Department of Children and Family Services uh, but also in the courtroom. Uh, I would also refer 
folks to our uh, our website. I have an article uh, posted at Tapella uh, at foryourjustice.com that lays out the rights that foster parents have when they're participating in that court process. That's smart, and a lot of things to keep in mind. We could, we could have you stay all hour <laughs> and take <laughs> questions. This was really great, Bill. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much for the questions and the opportunity. Yeah, certainly. It's Bill Tapella with the Tapella and Eversbacher Law Firm, based out of Charleston, but serving all of Illinois and Central That's Illinois right. here. If you'd like to connect with them, we're going to put a link on our website at ciliving.tv. Well,